Hey, what's going on, people? So, I don't remember exactly when it happened, but several weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago or something, I don't know, I picked these things up, right? The Nike Pegasus 36 Trails. And one of the things that I said I wanted to do in them was obviously break them in a little bit and then do a performance review later once I was able to get out there, run around on some trails and that whole thing. So the way this whole thing played out, right? I wore these around here for a while because I wasn't really leaving the house or the apartment so much. So I wore these just around here for a good week or so, took them down to Tennessee for another week, went on a little hike down there. It's about a mile and a half up to Laurel Falls, if you're familiar with it, near Gatlinburg or in Gatlinburg, whatever. So about a mile and a half up and then back down, then normal city walking during the week, and then came back, hit the trails on Sunday, I think it was, and then again today, which is also Sunday. So anyways, oh, also on that note, I've been on a bit of a trail myself, if you've been paying attention to things over on the, the Instagram side of things, and I think I made a post over here too. Anyways, not too long ago, or maybe it was a while ago, I did hit my 500,000 views mark, so that's kind of a lot, right? I mean, at least to me, maybe not to you, but to me it is, and that's what matters. Also, what matters behind that is that I'm gonna celebrate that milestone just like I did the last two, and so what that means is a little bit of a giveaway, right? So, this time, just to play off of what we're talking about here, remember the, the review I was talking about of these? Go back and find out where those coordinates go, and then let me know. If you're first and no one else says anything, then you win. If you're first and then a couple other people say something, it gets randomized and you might still win, but yeah, you never know. We'll, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Anyways, as far as this shoe goes, right? I went there to the trails, did that whole thing last week, and then again this week. So now I've got a little bit to say about it, but before that, we're gonna do a quick little sum of the shoe itself, right? So this right here, around here, the whole upper, you're, you're gonna have this sort of a jersey feeling mesh sort of thing going on as to the lightweightness of it, which is great. Kind of re more reinforced down here around the toe and of course around the heel, which makes sense, right? You got these blue laces and these little yellow things on over here doing the whole fly wire treatment, you know? So as you pull these, this whole thing tightens up, gives you a real good lock in on your foot. And then the back of the heel here is pretty nice as well. It's easy to slip these on on account of this little slope thing they got going on here. And then on the, the inside, you got just this nice little green. Doesn't really do anything for the shoe, at least not past the aesthetics anyway, but it is nice. And then you've got the zoom midsole, which is a good thing, right? It's got the little, la little label down over there so you can tell it is in fact zoom. Now on the previous shoe that I had, this here, these had zoom and react down there on the bottom it was kind of labeled as such i think somewhere so really the labeling on here isn't there it's and the labeling that you do see is kind of wrong so the zoom part is actually the upper layer the bottom part is actually react so there you go but the thing was some people complained about these because they kind of came apart in the back end there but and this is the 30 35 turbo right that doesn't seem to be a problem here because as you see, this is just one big midsole and there's no slit down there, right? Because again, one big midsole. So that's an improvement in itself. And not quite the react on the bottom, but you know, it's still something nice. So now let's jump into this whole performance part of things, right? So running around in these uh, through the trails, you've got all kinds of terrain, right? You're, you're kind of going up, you're going down. There's like tree, what do you call it? Roots and stuff like that, rocks. You're going across all kinds of things. And in these, the traction was good. I didn't feel like I was gonna fall at any point. I was not at a fault of the shoe, maybe on my own or whatever. But so the, as far as the sole goes, everything down there was good. It kind of felt at first like you could kind of feel some of the things under there, but I think that was just kind of me getting used to the shoe. But after the first bit running through there, everything was fine. It felt pretty comfort comfortable and confident, like Demi Lovato, and so I was cool with that, right? We're cool for the summer. Also past that, just the overall feeling of the shoe, going up, going down, whatever. The, the lock-in was good. I didn't feel anything too loose or whatever like that. So I kind of feel like I could have run around in these for a good while, right? Now, 
The thing why I wanted something like this, obviously over something like an Air Max, or excuse me, a Vapor Max or whatever, the Vapor Max midsole isn't gonna be anything too great. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna grab a pair, but that's a little further than I wanna reach. It's not gonna be anything good for that kind of terrain. And then as far as the Ultra Boost goes, these actually felt very much like running around in those, at least a pair of 19s or something, because it had a, it was a sturdy sole, but still cushiony, right? But not too much. So I think these, for that reason, kind of get the edge over those. I feel like if I was running in an Ultra Boost on that sort of terrain, it just would have had too much give to it. It would have just been too unstable, you know? And I'm not really trying to have that, because then the likeliness of falling increases and no to that. So anyways, past that, everything was really good with these. I was pretty, pretty content with them. Also, as far as the, the upper goes, it's got this brown sort of beech wood type color as the box says. So that kind of keeps them from looking like they're getting too dirty, which is a nice plus. Cause I mean, I'm not gonna clean these if I'm gonna be out on, on the trails, but I'd still like them to look decent. You know what I mean? It's like that fine line. So these were a good choice. They've got other colors and truth be told if they had the other colors in stock, there's a certain other one that I would have picked cause it kind of had this little fruity pebble sole thing going on that I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, past that, I don't, I'm not gonna give you like a full on technical review of all the specifications and all that, but I will give you again, that real world experience that I have based off of what I just did, right? So again, it's only a handful of miles and a handful of miles up and down on a, a mountain or whatever, but it's, I think it's a pretty decent amount to give you an idea. And as far as like the durability of the shoe, just based off the materials and everything, I feel like they're gonna stand up just as well as your average running shoe. Because if you look at most running people, right? They like to replace them every so often just because things do wear down or maybe they kind of just get worn out up here. Wherever it might be, it just depends on you. But I don't see these not holding up as long as you would expect them to. So I'll just kind of put it like that. But yeah, past that, I'm definitely going to recommend them if you're looking for something on the trails to run in. Right now, I do have another review I'll be doing soon of another trail shoe and how these will stack up to those. I don't really know. Maybe they'll be the same. Maybe they'll be worse. Whatever. I'll figure that out a little bit later. But for now, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm going to go ahead and well, I guess I don't really have to get this edited right now. I'm probably not putting the video up until tomorrow. But anyways. I'm gonna go do something, probably eat, because I just got done running not too long ago. So that's sounding like a good idea. Yep, yep, thinking that's what it's gonna be. All right, later people.